13-year-old boy from Racine is charged with attempted murder. Jamal Williams is accused of stabbing an 11-year-old girl with a pocket knife. She was stabbed three times in the arm and chest. The girl needed stitches, but she should be okay. Two men survived after being buried alive in a construction accident near Lake Geneva this morning. Michelle Fiore reports. The fire chief describes what he found as controlled chaos. You can see over my shoulder by these bushes, that's where these two workers were buried alive. Lake Geneva Fire Chief Brett Conley says when firefighters are called to a trench collapse, like the one that happened along Highway 50 today, it typically becomes a recovery effort, not a rescue. But these guys were lucky. Co-workers jumped to action right away. There's probably four or five of their co-workers at that time that were um, digging with buckets, shovels, whatever they could to get their co-workers out. A selfless act. Initially, it was just one man buried to his waist by this clay mud mixture. His buddy trying to dig him out then also got trapped. Though both of their heads were above the dirt, the pressure on their lower bodies made this a potentially deadly accident. The blood becomes acidotic in the lower extremities, extremities if it's not circulating. And once we get that pressure off and it circulates the good blood basically with the bad, then we start having other um, symptoms where they could go unconscious or any number of different things. Chief Conley thinks the recent rain may have contributed to the trench collapse. They needed to definitely take more precaution than it would be if it had been a fairly dry summer or, or even the last few weeks it would have been drier. In all, Chief Connolly tells me the workers were trapped for about 15 to 20 minutes. The first worker was taken by Flight for Life to Mercy Hospital in Janesville, the other to Lakeland Hospital in Elkhorn. We're in Lake Geneva. Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. And at this point, both men are being treated for non-life-threatening injuries, and that's a good thing. That yeah, could have been tragic. They are lucky. Mm.